What's going on, everybody? It's Monkey Farm, and we're back with some more scrap mechanic today. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the intro. This is my first pass at a jet-powered airplane. Uh, I have some really good improvements. I think I can make this thing a lot better, um, so we're going to try to build that right now. Um, I hope you guys are liking the scrap mechanic series. It looks like uh, looks like you guys are liking a lot of the stuff I'm building, um, some of the robots and transformers and stuff like that. And as always, uh, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my Scrap Mechanic videos. And uh, also go back and check the Scrap Mechanic playlist to see all the, uh, the other stuff that I've built as well. And um, if you saw last episode, I actually built a rolling ball car. It was kind of like a bowling ball or a hamster ball kind of car that just rolled around in any direction. And it used that little... Um, hydraulic uh, shock glitch thing uh, that I showed you how to do last episode and uh, if if you look at what's going on here I'm pushing the two buttons I have attached to this vehicle and if I push the first button uh, both of those uh, hydraulic things try to press down and lift the front up if I push the second button the other ones try to push down and the whole vehicle kind of rotates forward and that's what I use to uh, to raise or lower the direction of the vehicle and of course the jets just uh, just power the thing forward all right so a couple things we're gonna do differently on the one we're gonna build today is um, I'm going to try to use the hydraulic uh, steering glitch kind of thing to actually steer as you can see right now um, the wheels are steering um, the jets on the left if I'm turning right uh, the jets on the left point down and the jets on the right point up and that kind of makes the entire jet kind of loop clockwise um, and or left would make it you know loop counterclockwise on um, the other thing I'm probably going to use a little bit less power uh, I used all lightweight stuff to build this as you can see like these blue these blue bars these shelf support thingies uh, they're all lightweight and this lightweight net fence is uh is light also of course um so i think uh we need to make sure that we either don't overpower it either that or i need to use heavier materials but using heavier materials i think is not going to be as good because uh it'll be probably harder to control um and just overall just difficult i don't know so i'm going to stick with the lightweight materials and then we'll make some improvements with the steering. Um, and then it's also, I'm gonna make it a lot smaller. This thing is way too long. It doesn't need to be that long. It's, uh, it, it doesn't actually help. I think it makes it less easy to control. And of course, like I said, um, I think I'll use less jets. I think, <laughs> I think four on each side and two in the back, that's, you know, that's overkill. I think 12 jets is way too much. Um, so anyway, we are gonna use uh, some less, lower amount of jets as well um, and what did I do was this four blocks wide yeah all right so we'll make this thing shorter in length we'll make it a little bit more compact we will use less jets we will improve our steering and um, and hopefully this thing will kick some butt it's uh it's actually really fun to drive um, not as hard as you'd think and let's see, let's see, one, two, three, four, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do six. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, for the wings, I think what I'll do is um, raise them up a little bit. I'll still use these yellow net fence things. Do that, and we'll put one of these sideways like that, and we can attach some wheels to the back. Nice and easy. All right, um, for the wheels up here, let's see. Let's put them right here. I'm going to still have them steer um, just, just for more control while we're on the ground, but... Um, you know, because sometimes you bounce on the ground, and it's nice to uh, to be able to adjust your steering and everything that way. All right, and 
one more block. And we'll put some wheels right here. There we go. All right, so that looks pretty good. And uh, we'll, yeah, we're gonna have to attach this just to straighten everything out. So let's go ahead and do that. And I probably have to rotate them. Let's see that way. There we go. All right, so we've got we've got ground steering. All right, let's attach the jets to this thing. Um, we'll put them. Let's see, right up at the front of the jet and I think I can fit three yeah if I do it like this we can fit three jets right on the edge of the wing and I want to have it out here just because it'll keep it'll keep some uh, some counterweight on each side of the plane uh, and then wait did I put that one too far over yeah I did and is that how I did it over there I think so um, I think this will help keep some counterweight on each side having having the weight the jets way out on the edge and that'll also give us some space underneath the wing here i think what i'm going to try to do is is put the hydraulic uh steering uh underneath the wing so it's not visible as you can see on the other plane it's up on the top so it's totally visible and you know that's not I don't know, it's not aesthetically pleasing. Um, so why don't we try to put it under here? And the other thing I can do, I use the big uh, shocks. I think I can use the small ones and it'll work just the same. So let's go ahead and try that. Um, I'm gonna put, let's see, I'll put the first one here. And we'll have to make it steer upwards that direction and then what we can do here is this gonna let me I'll have to test and see if this thing will still steer or not um, oh, it won't let me steer on the lift let's try this oh it still steers so it doesn't actually interfere with that block next to it that's good what the heck that was weird all right, so we've got that one taken care of, and then we want, whoops, we need that, another block, and then hydraulic there, and a block here. Okay, so let's attach that and make sure it works. Uh, what we need to attach that to is the steering wheel, let's see. Steering wheel there, and the steering wheel there. All right, so, okay, left is that direction. Um, I can't tell that it's working. Oh wait, we need them going opposite directions, so. Okay, so it is working. <laughs> okay, good, I, they were, both forces were like fighting each other and, and that's why the plane wasn't moving. And I'm like, this isn't working. Um, let's do the same on the other side. I don't actually think we need double. Um, on this one, it seemed to help. Like having, having only one uh, didn't seem to work very well, but when I added the second one, it worked really well. Uh, this plane is obviously a lot bigger and heavier than the one we're making now. Um, so I may not need that, but uh, just to keep things weighted exactly the same and symmetrical, um, I think it'll be best to do it. So I'm just going to do that here. All right. All right. Put the second one over here. All right, so everything's symmetrical, and that way, at least we'll know that the plane weighs the exact same amount on each side. Um, we didn't attach this up yet, so um, we're going to have to make sure we do it the same on each side. So this front one 
is pointed that direction. So if we point this one um, the opposite, that should be correct, I would think. Um, no, it's the wrong way. There we go. All right. Yeah, see how see how this one isn't powerful enough to to rotate the plane on its own, but I have two over here, and that's like double power. Um, so that may actually be more steering power than we need, but uh, we have both, so um, you know, why not use it? Okay, let's attach the second one, and we need that going the opposite direction. Okay, so now we should have we should have total steering power. Wait. Nope. All right, now now we should have both of these attached, and what I need to do is check that the opposite um, hydraulics are rotating down. So, as you can see, like um, the front one on the left is pushing down, and the back one on the left is pushing down now. So, um, awesome. Okay, so I think, yeah, that'll give us. Really nice steering in the air, I think. Okay, for the elevation controls, um, I'm gonna try to hide that back here so we can't really see it. If I put um, put that here and have our shocks going this way and there, and then we're gonna have to have a controller attached to those two. Um, and then we need to do the opposite on this side. Wait, need to have this. Do the opposite, have the shot going the other direction. So one of these is going to make the plane uh, rise up in the front. And the other one's going to make it ri go down in the front or rise up in the back. Um, let's see, we need controllers. Let's hook those up. So one there. And one there. We'll hook them up here. Um, we're going to want it to rotate that direction to hit the airplane and, oh, did I attach that to the wheel? What the heck are you doing, man? All right. Uh, other direction. So this thing will rotate downward into the plane. So that causes the pressure thing to make the plane rise up or go down. Uh, and we'll put like, I don't know, just 45 degrees, something like that. Um, actually let's do a little less. I remember in the hamster ball car that I made, um, I turned it too far and it actually kind of broke for a second. So it's kind of weird. Uh, then we need to attach some buttons. Let's do one and two and we'll attach those to the steering wheel and attach those to the controllers. Number one to that controller, number two to this controller. And that should actually, we'll have to calibrate which one's which. Uh, number two is rising up and number one is going down that way. I actually want them switched. Um, it doesn't really matter, um, you know, how you do that. Let's see. So what I'll do is just switch. Number one will go here and number two will go to the other side. That way, because I want I want the button, the number one button, to raise up the plane. Then I want number two button to raise, to push it down. Um, yeah. All right. And actually, is that it? Are we ready to test out? Um, no. It looks like our jets got disconnected, or I never connected them. I don't remember. Did I connect these? I thought I did. Anyway, um, let's connect the steering wheel to all the jets, and what that will do is uh, whenever I push forward, like I wanted to drive a car forward, um, the jets will power up. Oh, and I need to put some jets on the back too. So why don't we do that? Uh, let's see, what would be a good way to do that? If I put... How big are these jets? Um... That should work. Nice and nice and compact. All right. And we'll throw a jet here and let's just hook those up to the steering wheel. 
Awesome. Okay, I think we are ready to go. Yeah! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, now. Um, there we go. And we'll push down. Elevate a little bit. We're going up. And let's rotate down and push down and rotate to the right. Oh, this is awesome. This is way better than the other one. Uh-oh. 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 Yeah, this is, uh, this is much easier to control than the other one. I think I could probably actually get away with only two jets in the front. I mean, it's still really powerful. Uh, so let's try that again. We're going to raise up. Oh, hang on. We need to rotate to the left. Put the front down. There we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. There we go. Nice. Whoa. I was going to try to get a screenshot real quick. <laughs> All right, let's turn around this way. Um, all right, and it's good. I'm glad I added the steering because when we're on the ground, it's really good to have steering. Um, let's let's go way up into the sky here, as high as we can go. All right, all right. Let's get a good screenshot here. Oh no, I'm landing on the ground already. Oh, did you see my head? Almost bounced off the ground. All right, let's shoot up into the sky as high as we can go. Nice. All right, let's get a screenshot. Hurry. There we go. I think we got it. <laughs> All right. Oh, this thing is so fun. All right, so this design is definitely way better than the first try. Um, this thing was just way too powerful. All right, so uh, I want more elevation control. This one, just having one really isn't strong enough. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to hide it under here so we can't see it. it won't be very visible, so that'll be nice. Um, we'll do this one right here. And then the one on the other side, we'll have to do the opposite direction. So we'll put the bearing on this side like that. And then I'll have to check out, I'll have to look at these things and see which one I need to connect them to. All right, then uh, connecting these things, um, I think, let's see, this one's pushing down. Uh, number one, that one's pushing down to make the plane go up like that. So I think the opposite side, this one needs to be connected to that where button number one, which if you remember the controller was on this side. Uh, let's see. And I think I need to rotate it that way and let's go ahead and do 30 degrees. Same thing right here. Uh, nope. I think that's going yeah, that's the wrong direction. Let's move that over here to this one. All right. Is the controller still programmed? Nope. There we go. Oh, look at that. Much more powerful. And actually, the rear one, it's almost like I probably don't need... Oh, <laughs> I probably don't need the rear one to be that powerful. Um, but... I needed to add it just for to make sure the weight everything is balanced on the plane um, but we can we can hook it up anyway so let's see gotta make sure I do the right one okay we'll hook it up to this one which is button number two and we'll do 30 degrees there and let's double check yep I think that works yep okay 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 <laughs> All right, much more powerful. So we can actually like take off like a rocket now. We can just go straight up into the sky, which is pretty awesome. A ton of a ton of like control and maneuverability. Oh, did you see my head? <laughs> it was bouncing off the freaking ground. All right, that was awesome. All right, let's get up here. Let's see. All right, let's let's go up into the sky as high as we can. I wonder if there's a, a sky ceiling or something. Anyway, um, let's see. We need to lower back here. Let's get a screenshot. Oh! <laughs> All right. All right, let's take... Oh, my wheel's broken. Did I disconnect my wheel somehow? I... Those are not connected at all. 
That's so weird. Uh, or wait, somehow my... Everything got disconnected on this side. So my steering... My steering wheel should be connected to... To this. All right. And then... Oh, we, we lost we lost one of our steering controls too. How did that happen? Let's make sure everything's steering the correct direction. Uh, this is not correct. Um, and then that, so that one needs to go that way. Weird. Um, I don't recall why that, why that got disconnected. Um, anyway, that is not right. Let's see. All right, everything seems to be attached correctly now. Um, all right, so let's uh, let's get our rocket launch. Oh, look, it even just stands up, straight up. <laughs> awesome. All right, so let's do our rocket launch into the air. And there we go. We're gonna hit the wall eventually. All right, uh, I think I need to steer around the other way. There's there's kind of like an invisible wall here. It's, it's not just an endless world. Um, all right. Oh yeah, check us out. Whoa, whoa, there we go. Oh. Let's lower down. Let's do a drive into the ground and then loop back up. No. Oh, we can't loop very well <laughs> that way. Um, but this thing's easy to flip back over. Very nice. Oh, yeah. This thing is working nicely. Yeah. All right. Well, this thing is working way better than the first one, and uh, it's super fun. This thing is nice. So uh, anyway, that's going to be it. I hope you guys uh, build some awesome planes, and um, that's going to be it. Check out my other Scrap Mechanic videos if you haven't caught all of them, and we'll see you all later.